ओके सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आवर काफका पाइथन सीरीज सो बेसिकली लाइक टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड हाउ टू स्पिन अप द रेड पांडा एंड हाउ टू स्पिन स्पिन अप द रेड पांडा यू आई एंड when we are spinning up the red panda so let me show you when we are spinning up the red panda using the docker compose we have mentioned so many parameters right and we have covered all the parameter what is the use of each and every parameter so there is one parameter called panda proxy which i have explained you but i have not shown you so i forgot to show you so this is a very small video so panda proxy we use uh, if if someone want to use some rest api right so we have advertised so which is for the external user so it is mentioned this rest api can be accessed using localhost 8082 but can it is actually be accessed we have not read so let's try that so if you open it and go to the localhost 8082 and slash v1 and hit enter so it is going to give me the swagger documentation it is going to give me the swagger documentation for the panda proxy api so now we know so why we are using panda proxy address and we know what is panda proxy and we know what is the advertised panda proxy address because we have practically see because a localhost 8080 is actually the rest api and there are so many rest api so let's try to uh, explore all so as an example slash brokers so let me copy paste this slash brokers so what is what it is going to give me it is going to give me a get a list of brokers okay let's see hit enter so you could see we have spin up only one broker and it is going to give me only one broker let's try some other api so which is the rest api because we are we are not going to try some post api let's try some some other api get and uh, so let me check should we have some topics uh, topics get topics yeah get a list of kafka topics so slash topics so let's try we have only one topic available so if you click here uh, one topic available chat room right so can we access using the rest api so let's see topics so you could see uh, like uh, topics are available uh, chat room all right so any other thing and uh, this is the post api if you want to produce some message which is fine this is also the get api but if you noticed here uh this is to get a record from a topic so if i want to get so there are three message if we want to get a record uh let's put this particular record for this particular offset and this particular partition right if i want to get i can hit the rest api all right so but if you noticed here if i try this api all right let me try this api and local host at 82 slash topics and topic name is chat room partitions and partition id is 0 slash record and it is it is giving me some error it is saying missing mandatory parameter offset but if you noticed here nothing is given we have to pass the offset right nothing is given we have to pass the offset but uh, within the parameter you have see offset is one of the parameter by which we want to pass and it is a query parameter it is not a path parameter it is a query parameter right so it is a query parameter so if we want to use the so there is a one documentation so let me show you the documentation so where is that link let me search the link yeah so there is a panda proxy rest api documentation so if you click on it it enter so you could see uh, we have this uh, panda proxy api documentation available so where we can get a list of uh, brokers so same we have tried we can get uh, we there are so many like uh, get a record from a topic right so we were exploring this get a record from this topic and this thing will be available with the topic key value string so uh, like this value will be available and here it is clearly mentioned path name topic name and partition id are the path parameter and query parameter the offset timeout and the max pet and what all are the required parameter and what all are not the required parameter right so these are the like uh, required parameter whether this is the integer whether it is string so this documentation is very useful so this video is just to tell uh, the panda proxy panda proxy which we already covered but to like uh, uh, show you like we can access uh, using the ui as well so So that's why i created this small video so that's it that's the end of the video uh, thank you